Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for a VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K Ultra HD update for April 13th, 2022. And I'm going to show three VHS tapes, four DVDs, two Blu-rays, and one 4K that I recently picked up. So, we're going to start with the three VHS tapes that I ordered from eBay last Tuesday, April 5th. I'm going to start with the one clamshell, which this came on Monday, April 11th. I remember seeing this movie years ago. It has the blue lid. June 19th, 2003. And it also has the original inserts. This next one came on Saturday, April 9th. The 33rd week of 1989. This is a later printing because this VHS originally came out in 1987. And here's the last VHS. This one is a promotional copy. This movie was produced by Polygram Film Entertainment but released on home video by Columbia TriStar Home Video. It has these red printings, so you can probably take a guess what this will have at the end. And there is no week and year code. And now on to the four DVDs, which I got at Dollar Tree on Monday, April 4th. And these are all 2021 MGM reprints. And these were all distributed by a company called Deuce Entertainment LLC. And here's the last DVD. And now here are the two Blu-rays that I got at Walmart yesterday. This is part of the Vestron Video Collector Series. And this is my second um, Vestron Video Collector Series Blu-ray. The one other one I have is The Wraith. And this is Volume 25 in the Vestron Video Collector Series.
The digital code expires on March 15, 2023. And the back of the insert's blank, so no point in showing it. Here's the other Blu-ray I got yesterday. In the previous update, I showed the Criterion Collection Blu-ray of the 1947 version of Nightmare Alley. But this is the 2021 version. And I did watch this movie on Hulu back in February, and this was a good movie. And finally, the 4K, which I received from Amazon yesterday. I did pre-order this one back in February, and I received it yesterday on its release date. And I saw this in theaters on December 16th, 2021, when it was first released in theaters. And this was an awesome movie. And it's actually now my favorite in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And here's the code if anyone wants it. And that's going to do it for this update for April 13th, 2022. This is Brandon's Movie Corner signing off.